Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm making over a bunch of birds and I had someone ask me to do some different things on birds and and I thought that would be a good opportunity to just get out my stash of birds and uh, go ahead and do a bunch of them because it's spring so it's a good time to have a lot of these in the store and they sell really well in the store at this time so uh, this is a little concrete bird that i got at the dollar store believe it or not for a dollar and i think that's a really good value uh, it's concrete and you can see the concrete on the bottom but they've uh, painted um, painted the top with like a metallic paint and here I'm not even worrying with base coating this because I'm just using the decoupage napkin that uh, has that those colors in it so that when that shows through and it will a little bit uh, it, it just kind of adds to, to the dimension of it and I had um, I got that napkin that I just used from a friend of mine Paula thank you Paula and um and then this napkin i got from another friend jackie thank you jackie uh so here again i'm just using the color of napkin and i'm decoupaging with only one layer of the napkin over this without uh without base coating it and i'm going to go back with this decoupage once i get all this on here and it dries well and i'm going to kind of layer uh, some little decals over it and by decals i mean i i take um a layer of the napkin that doesn't have any print on it and uh do some stamping on it and add that to the decoupage paper if i'd had more time today i would have done though that more in detail but i i just kind of wanted to get these done and um so I just had to kind of show you the process that I go through at work. I don't, uh, I know a lot of my videos, I do them in more in order, but today I'm just making these birds uh, happen. So I'm just getting them done. And um, here I'm using Slick Stick from Dixie Bell, and I'm not sponsored. But any of these glass birds that have this slick glass finish, uh, you have to put some sort of um, of medium on them. And here, like I said, it's the, the slick stick, but you could use a, uh, a polyurethane spray, and that would work also. Uh, I really like how the slick stick works, especially if you, if you let it dry overnight. And now here I am making a textured paint and I, because I'm wanting to do a concrete finish on these birds. And so I'm using the color uh, French linen, and but any warm gray will work. And uh, just putting one coat on it uh, and then letting that dry. So with that texture on it and and Dixie Bell has a good um, product it's called sea spray that adds texture and works really well but I like to use just items that you already have in your home when I can uh, and like I said this baking soda works fine and it's what I used for a long time before I discovered the Dixie Bell product and now I'm just painting a bunch of colors here and um and i'm going to be using some waxes with this uh, to show you the different looks that it gives these birds this color here i think is the duck egg uh, blue and this is the mint julep and these little birds here i got these at the dollar store and uh, they were a dollar and i think they're resin uh, they also had a, a cardinal. I didn't buy any of those uh, because I feel like it limits uh, limits me too much. I just have to, I feel like they need to be either uh, the color of the male cardinal or the female. So um, I just didn't. I do have one that I got that, um, that I painted uh, with the concrete finish. But... Um, I just didn't really buy any of those, but these concrete birds here are awesome. And 
on the top of these, uh, the ones that I'm going to be painting, uh, I did use the um, slick stick because they were shining on the top. So, and then the little owl, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but the, the little owl I got last year from the dollar, actually the dollar tree. And this, um, this color here is the color pine cone. And I like to use it with the white wax because I think it turns out really, really good. And I wanted a, a couple little brown owls anyway. So, um... That was that color. Most of these colors are covering in just one coat. So um, that is one good thing about the Dixie Belle paint. It, it, you do get really good coverage. This color is just a really deep purple, and I think the name of it is Abergine. Maybe that's pronounced Abergine. I don't know. I think it's Abergine. I found that the dollar store is by far for me been the best place to buy little birds that are very uh very inexpensive and these little concrete birds are, I, I feel like are just awesome and the color i'm using here is sandbar and i'm doing several of these because uh, i can lighten them up a lot with the white wax but also i can do some decoupage over them and um and so I felt like this was a good base color for some of my decoupage. So here I'm just base coating all of these. And like I said, a lot of them covered in just one coat. Uh, but I'm just getting all my base coats on. And then I'll show you what uh, finishes that I end up with on some of these. And I'm just speeding through this because you know how to paint birds. And, um, and once I get all those done and they're all dry... Um, I can clear coat them at this point, but I feel like with this slick stick on on as a base coat, it's it's going to stick well, and I'm not going to have to worry about it pulling uh, any of the paint off. So I skip that step on these, and it really does make a really big difference in the these little birds, and it it looks concrete. It really does. You can look at it closely, and it still looks like concrete. And then when you do that same finish on that little concrete bird that's concrete on the bottom, uh, then you've also got the weight. So it's even more believable that it's concrete on this little bird. And this is, has just enough little detail that this, uh, this wax has places to settle. And it, it just really makes these birds so cute. I think the concrete finish is by far my favorite on all these birds. But I like to have some colors, especially in the spring, so that I can kind of work them into my vignettes. So, uh, so the wax with some of these colors is also really pretty. And I think this was the mint julep. And although I'm not showing these that well, I'm, I'm going to be showing some close-up pictures for you to see how each of these colors turned out. And I think here was the vintage duck egg with the white wax. And then you can see what the white wax looks like on that. And then uh, I'll start using uh, some of the darker colors. And this is the Abergine. And it really shows up well on, on the really dark colors. But I, I didn't feel like this. I wanted this to be a little bit more purple than it was. So um, if you use the Abergine, be prepared for it to be a little gray purple, I think is what it looks like and this is that blue that i'm trying to remember the na the name of and there they are with the white waxes on them and i'm also going to be using some black wax and so this screen i know it seems odd to put black wax on it but it really gives it a pretty look and what I didn't show that I did first on some of these, and this was one that I did it on, is I put some clear wax on first. That way, this black wax uh, wipes off better because I was a little leery of using it. And, um, and like I said, when you clear wax it, it really does help. 
The hardest thing about waxing small objects like this is you have to hold on to them. So you have wax all over your hands and everywhere that you handle the bird, you'll get more wax on it. And so it just kind of takes some maneuvering to get it smoothed out to where you don't have your prints on it. Uh, but it's worth the trouble. And uh, because these items are so small, it uses very little wax. Uh, but I really like how that black settles into those little feathers. And uh, I was real happy with how this one turned out. I've been m making all the birdhouses. I need some birds to uh, display with them. So it was a good time for me to do these little birds. And be prepared here to get this all over you because as you can see, I am. Uh, but... I feel like wax is really easy to clean up, um, unlike paint, which tries to stay under your nails, and, and uh, this black wax just, it washes out really well. As long as you get your water really hot, it, it's like it melts it um, away. And now I'm using brown wax on some of these. I wanted to make this um, yellow, a richer yellow, so um, I felt like the brown would work really well with it. I could have used white because it's a deep enough yellow that uh, the white would have showed up well. But I wanted to make this more of a richer uh, yellow. So the brown was uh, worked out really well. And then if I have him left over in the fall, he'll go with some of my fall vignettes. And when you use the brown wax on this sandbar color, it, it, it makes it look a, a light brown. Uh, so really, this one wasn't one of my favorites. Um, like I said, I was just trying some different looks, and uh, that's just one that I ended up with. I don't think I'll do that finish again. And now I'm doing some decoupage. And this decoupage paper was gifted to me by my sister. She had, I know she said she ordered it from Amazon and I went on Amazon to look and because this came with a lot. So I feel like it was a really good price for, um, for th this much. And it's like a tissue wrap. Uh, you can put it in as decoupage paper and I don't know what the name of it was. Uh, but when I looked up decoupage paper, it didn't take long for this one to pop up. And, um, like I said, I feel like it was a good price and it goes a long way. There is, there are so many sheets of this. So, uh, if you're on the fence about whether or not to get it because of the value, it is definitely a good value. So I'm just tearing up little pieces of this. Uh, so that it, it will mold well to my bird. And I'm just putting one coat and not even covering the whole bird. Uh, and I'll go back and add some little, um, little homemade appliques that I make out of just one layer of a napkin that doesn't have anything on it. And then I stamp on that and I'll add that. And then I think on a couple of them, I may even add some little torn book page, uh, just a little piece from a torn book page. And you can just kind of add whatever you think looks good. And I was just kind of trying to give each of these a little bit different look. And when I get finished, I'll make sure and show some close-ups. The decoupage is really quick and easy to use on these birds because you don't have that much to cover. And here I'm working on um, on the one of the owls. And like I said, I got these from the Dollar Tree. And um, I got them last year. And it seemed like the stock held up really good. Every time I would go, they would still have some. So these weren't hard to get hold of. And again here, I didn't cover the whole owl. I think I left his eyes and some little areas here and there. So um, I just wanted to give him some character and give him some dimension. And um, like I said, you can kind of add other things onto it, including stamps. 
And then when I finish these little birds, I sell them for like $3 because I only have a dollar in them. So uh, now some of the decoupage ones, if I put a lot into the decoupage, then I might put four on them. But, um, but usually these, these don't take very long to just kind of throw one together. And since these are small, you could actually paint some up ahead and have some ready so that uh, you would have different colors on hand when you need to work on your vignettes and you see you need a little pop of color or you need to bring that uh, those colors together more then uh, then you'll already have a little item to add in there are so many items that you can use to decoupage on these with any book pages and if you want your book pages to have an antique look, then you can kind of, you can just take a paintbrush and paint over them with some coffee and let them dry and then rip them up and use them for this. And that works really well. Or you can do the same thing with coffee filters and uh, you can just kind of coffee stain those. You can even use your coffee filters that you've already uh, used with your coffee maker and then just um and then when they're done just kind of rinse them out a little bit and and wring them out and let them dry and it makes good decoupage paper but any napkin uh, is very easy to decoupage with you just take the outer layer uh, with the with the print on it and and decoupage with just that one layer uh, any gift tissue wrap, any print that you happen to like, you can use that for decoupage paper. And like I've said before, you can uh, take your stays on ink and um, and stamp onto um, the um, layer of the napkin that doesn't have any print on it and make little appliques to, to decoupage on. And you could cut pictures from books. You could cut uh, pictures from gift wrap. Uh, there's just so many items that you can decoupage with. Uh, I, I feel like it does better if the paper is thin. But um, unless you're working on an item like this, even thicker paper will work if you're working on something that's flat. But if you're working on an, an item like this, I feel like you pretty much need it to be really thin paper. But you can also decoupage with really thin fabric. So like I said, once I finish these, I add some other little things to yeah. it. And, uh, but there are, uh, there are a few of them that I did. And now I'm, um, I'm going to use this um, napkin. And uh, I got this napkin from my sister and um, and I thought it was a really pretty color and I have a vignette with this color in it so I wanted to do a little bird with this. Now I myself am not real big on color. I like to decorate with um, with neutrals but um, I find in the store especially in the spring that people want to see color. There's that concrete bird done in the concrete finish and then in the uh, decoupage and there I have added some stamps to this one this was one of the just solid color ones I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one uh, thank you so much for watching have a great evening and God bless you and your family